Okay, in this video, I want to explain to you and kind of help you make your decision on whether you should buy Traffic Secrets uh, by Russell Brunson or not, okay? So, I bought these three books. You can check out my other reviews of the other books if you want. Uh, link it in the description, okay? So, I bought I bought them one by one. And for me personally, uh, maybe, you, maybe useful to you, but to me, uh, because I run a lot of ads, so the information in this book is not necessarily uh, very impressive compared to expert secrets and dot-com secrets so just to tell you okay but nonetheless i'm going to tell you explain to you uh, what is actually uh, put is in this book so that if you get to decide to pick it up then at least you know what you're buying okay so um yeah so in traffic secrets uh, russell basically explains to you how do you get traffic sources and like how do you rely and get customers uh slowly and steadily while also not really relying on one sole specific traffic source Right, so a lot of people are uh, very, very dependent on Facebook ads. So if Facebook ads dies, does your business die? That is the question, right? So because Russell, I would say that his situation is different. He has the patience to like try all of the methods, especially the warm traffic methods and the free methods first, right? But a lot of people are very impatient, so they go into paid traffic. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well, okay? Uh, he has this thing called the Dream 100, which is basically um, you introduce yourself uh, to your 100 best prospective customers. So influencers, blogs, uh, websites that you really, really want to be on, that you want to be connected with, right? And whose audiences you want to sell to, right? So for example, if I'm selling personal finance or something in, in the finance space, right? Uh, a finance blog is a, a dream 100 prospect, okay? So he calls it work your way in traffic that you earn. So you manually have to reach out to them and making connections, for example, getting onto a podcast, stuff like that. That is uh, working your way in, okay? He also talks about buying your way in, which is basically just paid ads. Okay, so yeah. Then traffic you own is the email list. Yeah. Um, okay, so you want to, how do you, how he explains it is you want to fill your funnel with all of these uh, different types of traffic sources. So you have a three-headed monster in organic traffic, SEO plus, um, you know, the Dream 100, you're reaching out to people, podcasts, uh, getting on blog posts, etc. right? Then also you're doing paid ads and retargeting at the same time, right? Uh, he also goes into, how do you optimize your, for example, Instagram, Facebook profile, uh, your YouTube profile, um, yeah, and also guest posting on other people's social channels. So for example, he guest posted on Tony Robbins, one of his Dream 100 prospects, on his 3.2 million follower Facebook page. And so he had a video collaboration with him and so that he got organic traffic from there. Does that make sense? So Tony's audience suddenly became his audience because he can now start running uh, retargeting ads towards um, uh, Tony's uh, Tony's audience plus he has a video with Tony as well so very very high conversion rate at the same time yep then afterwards he explains how Google SEO works uh, how to rank YouTube for example uh, buying placements in front of other people's videos right so imagine someone already has a YouTube video online and they already have like uh, multiple millions of views right you actually can pay for that placement to get in front of the audience so that's what he's saying um, also affiliate army so like um, click funnels the affiliate uh, affiliate program is very very strong right so I would say that he also talks about uh, based on commission, right? You can attract an army of affiliates to just promote your product for you, okay? Then lastly, which is, I was a bit surprised that he said this, that cold traffic is actually not a priority. Like getting to eight figures, right? He said, um, you actually can do it purely based on like organic traffic means and like uh, paid ad strategy, retargeting, you know? He didn't even say cold traffic was that, but um, very, very different, <laughs> I guess, different mindset where uh, when you d build a very, very big company and that sort of thing, right, then definitely, and you have no money to start with on paid advertising, right? But for example, in e-commerce, e-commerce, um, from the get-go, uh, you probably need paid advertising because it's very, very dependent on paid advertising. So it's probably a different game uh, from, from SaaS, where SaaS is a retention-based uh, product and uh, your product is very, very unique to you, right? So that's what Russell is selling, okay? So, I mean, that's basically it uh, for my rundown for Traffic Secrets. And yeah, I, like, it's definitely not a bad book. It's definitely not a bad book. I'm just saying um, that the, the knowledge in here is, to me personally, uh, not as insightful as um, Expert Secrets and .com Secrets. So I would uh, rank this as number one, uh, then Expert is number two, and Traffic Secrets is like, uh, if you run a, a lot of ads already, not that useful. But uh, I mean, good to know, good to know, right? Okay, so um, if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description as well. Uh, yeah, and please, if you want to check it out, uh, the other books, I've also put uh, my video reviews in the description. Okay, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.